You already know the BC anything for clans don't make sense. I got to touch on Venice Colombo. He spoke on the fact that these celebrities changed their hair to blonde because of the post traumatic MK Ultra mind splitting control. Now, what happens is this shows you that they're still under control, that they're still plugged into the matrix. Now, a lot of them try to rebel, but they end up going through this phase. If you notice that all the ones that mess with the Kardashians end up going through this phase where they have to change their hair blonde because it shows their allegiance and their loyalty. And it shows you that they can't break out of it. That, why do you think when he did the interview, he can barely spoke on, he can barely speak on what he said when he was on his lives? And he let somebody who's part of the system, Charlemagne the God, control the narrative. That's why he went on Twitter afterwards and started saying, oh, you know what? I see what he was doing. No, you, you know why he had no control over the interview? He had no control over what he was saying. It was almost like he was manipulated to saying anything. And just sounding weird. Some of I got to represent myself and that it's been so long. And then in the interview sounds so hesitant. And the information that he was providing during his live was not being expressed during that interview with Charlamagne God. And it's on Comedy Central, so he looked like a joke. Why you went on Comedy Central? See, they're they making a joke out of the whole thing. That's why Pete Davidson is in and out of, you know, mental hospitals. Kanye West was considered crazy. Now Ray J is considered crazy. You should see, you see the tread line there. So y'all better wake up, man. This ain't no game out here. That's why they say them Kardashians are witches, but you gotta wake up. Smell the coffee, baby.